so uh, this is the issue that we are going to resolve today so when I have the portals like this if I pay attention to the exit position so if I shoot down here right you see it always exits from the center of this exit portal so I have uh, that's wrong but I have done that because just for the ease of calculations and just to make it work the easiest way possible so now I am going to fix that okay first let me open the portal blueprint so actually that is uh, important for the player character because the player character is a bit big so regardless of whether we are trying to enter like collide whatever the position player would be somewhat fit fitted into the center of the uh, portal so but it was not obvious for the player but now that we are sh we can shoot through the portal it's uh, clearly visible so instead of simply giving this uh, location of the exit collider as the target location we should calculate the location of the actor that is going to jump the portal the current position relative to the portal uh, relative to the portal that the actor enters and then calculate the target position the corresponding same corresponding position in the target portal just imagine, just imagine these are the two portals and the actor who's going to enter let's say this is the or oh, we can draw ball let's say this is the ball that is going to enter so it may be coming from a direction like this from here like this so then the exit position should be calculated using the same direction like this but now what happens is well this drawing is not good let's say the ball is coming like this now what happens is we keep the direction but we start the ball from the middle and throw it like this that's not the way it should be we should be doing it like this so here in the overlap we have this sweep result and if I break this I have these details Loca uh, impact point location of the actual contact point of the trace shape with the surface of the hit object equal to the location in the case of an initial overlap and this is uh, location of the hit in world space if this was the swept shape test this is the location where we can place the shape in the world it will not penetrate okay i think we can use one of these so how uh, should we do this uh, into this macro i'll add another input i'll call it touch point so how do we calculate that position mm. here let me get this and add a root node and from this one another reroute node 
and select these two and create a function get touch um, mm, sorry I should call this target point because and I'll make this a PO function and then I'll directly connect this and rename this instead of touch point target point because we are going to calculate the target point directly so here get target point now we can break again and get the location so we need two dummy objects to see in components to do the calculation and they should be on the each collider or each door portal door so this is g1 d2 on d1 i'll add a scene component touch point one uh dp1 stands for touch point and copy that and edit at the same thing on the d2 it's automatically renamed to touch point two. Okay, now I'll add two inputs of scene components. Scene component. So TP and TP stands for touch point. Let's see if I can connect it. So this is collider 2, that means TP2 is the entry point. Okay, TP enter and TP exit. TP not to wait why am I using underscore that's not the way I have named the components okay TP enter and TP exit going to be TP1 for the ladder to and similarly it's going to be opposite for a ladder one. Okay, I'll read in this input pane. sweep result all right now inside here I'll set world location of the TP enter using this location well I'm not sure which one to use let me first use this one then set relative lo location of the exit point using relative location of the enter point so in this way I should be able to calculate the corresponding point in the exit portal 
so that it would look like the whatever the object that jumps the portal is coming from the exact position in the other side of the other portal in uh, the other portal and then for this output pane I can use get again this db exit get world location so this is just an easy way to do the calculations without thinking of space conversions world space local space conversions right now shall we test Oh, oh sorry I should use this See now Yeah Now it's not no longer using the center point Good. Let me place side by side so we can see it clearly. City still have some difference. Oh, it changes size, see. So here it's uh, when I shoot here to the right edge of the orange portal it comes out from the other side. So that's what this uh, snapping. That's what causes this snapping. So how do we solve it? What if I do something like this? Instead of keeping this uh, D2, here TP2 and TP1 under the D1 directly. If I put this under colliders. And then one collider, for one collider, I'll add a 180 degree turn rotation. So it wouldn't make a difference for the colliders because... Right, now let's see. Now the velocity is wrong, so that solution is not working. Actually, what happens is this. So when I shoot this one here and one here, and if I try to jump, I spawn behind the wall. So and I can't pass through the wall, uh, pass through the door because the door has a collision. Collision. So. Rotation is not a good idea. Therefore, let me put this back out of the collider and directly under D1, D2. So, one more thing here. So, as I said, the sides are switching, that's what happens. Uh, so, the side means this y-axis so if I flip y-axis that should also work so here instead of directly setting this what if I multiply this with x1 y minus 1 and z 1 
No, this should work. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, it seems correct. Let's test from this side. Yeah. Wait. This seems correct for the most part, but somehow we see a still... I think that's because of this uh, width of the bottle. So what if I reduce this collider? Will this oh wait, I forgot to test for player. Yeah, seems fine. Right, now it seems mostly fine. Better than at least what we had before. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to stop this episode right here. So perhaps we will look into replication aspects of this portal system in the next time. And also, if you still notice issues or the things that I need to improve, feel free to let me know in the comments. I look into them as well. And as always, updated project files will be available here for you to download the patron page link would be in the description below and not just this project you can download any project that i have done in my channel once you become a member so thanks for watching see you in another episode goodbye